Oh, you guys, Yusuke mentioning how cool the airship was. God damn it, man. It's the little things that matter. Yeah, I've seen people, I've seen people also get pissed, or get, get pissed off on that. Shadows who've had their hearts changed? The great Akira's hero show will begin momentarily. Please gather in front of the stage and show your support. Hero show? By Kanoe? This sounds interesting. Let's go see. Alright. No. Take a closer look. The guards are on the lookout. If they spot us, we get swarmed, and then it's game over. I should probably fall back for now. Something like this happened in Sapporo, didn't it? You mean the he horde? That was mirrored by the huge cleanup campaign in the real world. Right? <laughs> Fucking he horde. This may be the same thing. <laughs> huh? Does that mean Kanoe is doing some kind of show in the real world right now? Which begs the question: Will this crowd go away once it's finished? We need more information. Maybe we should go back to the real world and see for ourselves. All right. If you think it'll help, we'll head back. Let's see just what Kanoe is up to. Okay, it's time to pull out. <laughs> he fucking reminded me of all that. I'm, I, I, you know, I think I'm gonna say that's my favorite moment in this game thus far. The fucking he ho moments. <laughs> Mr. Kanoe, the Emma app developed by your company, Medis, has become immensely popular all around the world. With Japan's creative industry starting to reach their limits, it's wonderful to hear about such a remarkable breakthrough in AI technology. I hear many have high expectations for you as a leading figure in this country, Mr. Kanoe. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say I'm all that. I do plan to do the best I can. The world is about to undergo a massive transformation, and I'm hoping to steer it in the right direction. I bet you are. <laughs> oh, thank you. You're too kind. Well, sounds like you've got their support. That reminds me. I've heard that Emma's servers are kept at the Tokyo Radio Tower. But way back when, the Tokyo Radio Tower was used to usher Japan into a new era of communication. Perhaps this time around, Emma will play a similar role and bring us into the age of AI. Yes, that's certainly the idea. As of now, AI is still a fledgling technology, but I've no doubt that it's going to make all of our lives that much easier. And as a testament to that, it's worth noting there were several areas that openly lamented the halt in Emma's service the other day. Why do you think the Phantom Thieves would target Emma of all things? Naturally, Emma holds a vast amount of personal data. Perfect target for a gang of crooks, if you ask me. Or perhaps they're just opposed to my ideas of AI making the world a better place. All that talk about them being champions of the meek and downtrodden is likely no more real than those cheap masks they hide behind. They threaten anyone they disagree with and rob them of their free will if they don't comply. Evil people performing evil deeds. Nothing more. We won't be defeated by some ragtag group of petty criminals. I'm more than determined to battle their injustices to the very end. Mr. Kanoe, you held a press conference the other day and mentioned your distinct hatred for the evils of this world. Might that stem from personal experience? <sighs> yeah. Oh, what was that face? <laughs> I suppose you might say that. Uh, as a child, I was caught in a rather unfortunate incident in which I lost someone very close to me. I'd wager it was that incident that caused me to harbor such disdain for wrongdoing. However you look at it, I can't allow the Phantom Thieves to continue doing as they please. I couldn't agree more. I think we'd all like to see this Phantom Thieves case resolved as soon as possible. Dude looked at her like, you fucking what? That explains the whole hero show thing. Bastard! Where's he get off with all that shit? Yeah, he's got a crap load of people behind him. He's trending like you wouldn't believe on social media. Have all those people had their hearts changed too? No, it's not like it was with Natsume. These are just regular old fans. So everyone's being won over by Kanoe's charm without ever knowing what he's really like. His track record with Medis certainly is impressive. Oh, come on! The guy's full of shit! 
Without knowing who he is on the inside, he probably seems like he really cares about making the world a better place. This isn't much different from what happened with Shida. Oh, ho, ho, baby. Don't get me started on him. It's wrong. Well, people do tend to pick the safer choices in life. Is that true? In a life of nothing but decisions, there's always a fear of not knowing what comes next. Without knowing what lies in store, people often end up turning to the thing that gives them the best answer. So when it comes down to it, they're more inclined to latch on to whoever's going to make things easier. First it was Shido, and now it's Kanoe. Actually, this might be even worse. Seeing as Emma is a lot more up close and personal with people. But is it really okay to live like that? Leaving everything up to something else? Well, the truth is, not everyone believes in themselves enough to do otherwise. Not like I'm going to talk. But that's why we're exposing the real villain here. So we can bring those people back to their senses. Right. We can't let them change everyone's hearts for their own schemes anymore. We gotta tear down that stupid jail he is, and then I'm putting my foot straight up his. Oh, oh, maybe we hold off until we get some grub, yeah? You can't be kidding. Me. Of course. That certainly cut the tension. <laughs> now that you mention it, I'm hungry too. We were running around in that jail for quite some time. Dinner time! What'll it be? We are in Osaka, so we'd be crazy not to do taco yaki, right? That sounds nice. I've been wanting to walk around and try a little of everything, honestly. Tempura. Oh, do such flavors really exist around here? <laughs> I suppose I should have expected as much from Japan's wondrous kitchen. So <laughs> oh, good. Oh, yeah. No trip to Osaka is complete without them. I'm actually surprised. Each shop really does taste different. Looks like trying a bunch of different places was a good call. Oh, so this is the authentic Osaka flavor. And best of all, it's affordable. Aren't you gonna have some, Mona? <laughs> it's too hot for me right now. I'll just have some once it cools off. I'm sorry you can't join in with us, Sophia. No, I am an AI. I'll just have to make do with the data. Don't let it get you down, Sophia. We'll bring some to the jail later. Really? Uh, yeah, it's a promise. Thank you. Man, traveling around and chowing down like this is the freaking best! Would have been nice if Gramps could have tagged along. He was close enough to make it home, so I think he wanted to go see Akana-chan. She was probably waiting for him, too. I hope they get more time with one another once this case is settled. Yeah, and then Gramps can shower Akane in gifts and treat her like a princess and stuff. There's something I still don't understand. Why did Kanoe bother to create the jails in the first place? Wasn't it because that Owada dude told him to? I don't think that was the only reason. We heard in his jail that he wanted to save people, didn't we? Yeah. One look around his jail, and it's clear that he totally believes in what he's doing. He thinks he's the perfect embodiment of justice. It's true. He does see himself as a hero. Are you suggesting he isn't acting for his own gain? At the very least, he must have his own reasons for taking part in all of this. We'll know for sure once we meet the monarch face to face. For now, let's just focus on the problem at hand. Yeah, you're right. We'll eat up and get our strength back for today. Well, I'm taking the rest then. As if, like you really need all that. Hey, it's first come, first served at this point. You guys better hurry before I swipe it all. I, Haru Okumura, accept your challenge. W wait, I want some too. Wait, hold on a second. Was my mic on the whole time? Uh, is that why I heard like a background voice? Fuck. I'm back with all the whole time. I was looking at something. Well, so it's how that preparation are complete. We're gonna head to the jail. Can I start up by see me? Yeah, got something really cool. Gotta blow your mind. It better. <laughs> well, fuck with me, Ryuji. Uh, Ryuji's up there. Let's go to him.
Yeah, if I can I pick someone can I listen to the proper sound? <laughs> Fight pot, yeah, it's high quality crime. Let me know taste you, it's all you hooked. Because you don't want people getting the wrong idea. Be a title wise, what can I make, mix, dude? Why not? Okay, yeah, that's so dry, but the little pissed smoke face bastard. He did all that just to give us flour. Okay. Hm. Man gave us flour. The good the good the good white powder oh, stuff. Fun. <sighs> You're doing this one? Don't be mad, it's okay. Hey yo, what the fuck? I am so glad I looked last second. Wow, yeah, I saw that. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> That's so specific. What should we make? Ooh, what you got? This one? Mm -hmm. That's good. This one's got your as home cooking, and each of these dishes is wonderful. This is the kitchen that day, right? But what? It's still there's secretly a head chef somewhere. Maybe it should be. This one? Mm -hmm. Looks delicious. Shall we? All done. That explains why we're under repair. We gotta do a side quest. We had to do a freaking side quest for Sophie in order to freaking get the things. In order to oh. get more more wep more weapons and armor. Oh wow. <laughs> hey, wolf and Phantom Dash. Taking a detour back to the Kyoto jail. Yeah, man, we gotta we gotta buff ourselves up in order to dunk on Iron Man. Keep saying that. It's because it looks like Robert Downey Jr. Is that it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> man, I said that's so upset. Never in my life did I imagine becoming a <laughs> Like Matt <Ben> said, <laughs> yes, <laughs> dumbass. <laughs> Shadow sighted. Don't make any sudden movements. That's it's a bizarre. Make way for the fancy. Uh, Nico 
show up here, but nothing to really I'm gonna just kill a Mecha Shogun, since something else is Matthew Dash. Uh, let's see what the quest hmm. is. Here's what I found. You already working on this one. I'll be a Mecha Shogun, Phantom Dash, with a couple of Tengu with Sankichi. Okay. Doesn't appear to be any danger present. Oh, that's about to be entrance. I think I see something over there. I just remembered, someone, tried, someone thought they were trying to make a big brain tweet, but I completely missed the crux, the crux of the entire issue. They think people are elitist for saying that Shadow Okumura and P5R is easy and that people and, and, and that people just up the game. Except, no, that's not the issue. At all. The issue is when people they're saying that it's a, it's okay for people to be bad at the games. Like no, that's not the issue. The issue is when people instead of highlight or bad at the game, instead try to blame the game for their own shortcomings. That's the problem. People say that Akumra's design, boss fight design is quote unquote objectively bad just because they suck at because they suck at, they suck at the game and don't pay don't pay attention to the mechanics. That's the actual issue. I thought people are bad at the game. You be bad at the game, but don't try and be like, oh, this boss fight's objectively bad because it required me to think. <laughs> you're just trying to shift the goalposts, try to pretend like you're some big brain, holy, sa bat holy savior. God damn, people can't get over. People can beat for people can't beat Akumra. How do people beat Maruki? Yeah. <laughs> I grant him Maruki isn't a hey do kill just for all the time quote at once or the whole entire wave reset kind of thing. But you still have to knock down the tentacles in order to freaking attack them directly. It's, Okay, let me find some dash. It's hard for I could have been there. I hate you guys, you're not one of my friends. Here's what I found. Well, you're already working on this one. Yep, the entire party effing killed them. Bray. Okay, let's keep this up. Okay, we got a fast and dash spots, and those are not Neko Shogun's. Right Those are not Mecha Shogans. Is this RNG based? Uh, no, they spawn a certain air. It's the fact that I need to defeat them in a specific way. Uh, is the issue. It's like it's not just beat Mecha Shogans, it's beat Mecha Shogans in a specific way. So, for example, we had the opportunity earlier, but the party were so powerful they completely killed Mecha Shogans before, before, before I could even get to them. Let's make show games. Let's do the Phantom Dash off of. Let's do the Phantom Dash off of here. Oh my god. Another guy make a challenge for a reason, but like, god damn. There's really only one section of the entire map that the Phantom Dash with the show games. I guess so. Damn dash, we got Neko Shogun, let's go. Alright. I don't even want to follow up tech, it's not that. What's that? And they're done. 
Nice. Party back in for <laughs> What the? Alright. <laughs> okay. Okay, this choker went now. Hold on, one more, one more, one more, one more for the road. The fact that I don't build up my meter here is disgusting. Yeah. Shouldn't overdo it. Get to work. Hmm. Here's what I found. You're already working on this one. Good. You're already working on this one. Mission accomplished. Armando. Yeah. 148. New weapons. 218. Oh! All right. That explains everything. Yep. And now we're ready. Now Sophia we're ready. was holding out on us. One thirty four, one seventy eight. Woo! It also explains why Futaba was getting her health bar obliterated. place yes it's their daredevil yeah. moment hey but we haven't found the trauma yet this is a this is daredevil oh yeah yeah, yeah my bad Shadows, we have new weapons. Now we are ready. That's how fast this guy's HP is dropping. Yep, as it should be. Maz was playing strikers on hard mode. <laughs> I mean, there is a hard mode. <laughs> you know what I mean.
Stand a little backwards. I guess that hero show or whatever's wrapped up. I wonder what it was like. I'm kind of curious, honestly. Oh, you want to go see one sometime? We can go to show. Once we get in the castle, we're headed straight for the roof. Are you ready? All right, let's go. That's what I was thinking, though, also, this game. Notice how we also don't need to butt keep, also need to keep here. buying new guns, along with a melee the weapon and armor. I'm kind of surprised yeah. how easy it was to get inside. A little quiet for a castle. That's not normal, is it? I don't think so. I've got a bad feeling about this. This is usually when everything goes wrong. Must you? What's this light? It's so pretty. But what is it doing? Uh, whatever it's doing, it can't be good. Intruders detected. Executing forced removal. Wait, is this thing a teleporter? It's a friggin' trap! We gotta bail! Wait, Skull! If you try to leave the circle, you'll get ripped apart? You gotta be shitting me! It seems we've been forcibly teleported somewhere. Ooh, I don't feel so good. I think I'm warp sick. What, so we're locked up? Ah, man, I feel like getting caught's all we ever do anymore. I don't know if I have this quote. This quote burns my memory. You know what? I'm gonna take that. P5 in a nutshell. We have to get out yep. of here. Yep. And quickly. Hey, just try to stay calm. In times like these, the best thing to do is to carefully check your surroundings. The door's open on the other side. I wonder if there's a way for us to get over there. Focus. What's that? I've located a treasure chest. I can see it. Let's open it. Hey, Joker, what did you find? We will break them into pieces. You're mine. Take Their heads up their asses. What else can I say? Come on, this boy. You escape. Quit resisting and come quietly. No. Oops, looks like we got company. 
So these are the jerks that sprung the trap on us? I guess we should say thanks. Quit resisting and get stomped. I never miss my Not bad. You can do it. Fine, people, going fine. What the fuck was that camera angle? the upper floors. Take this! 
Come on, guys. Fire more enemies on screen. Come on, come on. Can I fire more? This is the screen space level. Come on. I, 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 I can still actually see things. We can move a bit, a bit more. Seems we're quite a ways up. Have we reached the roof yet? Out that attack and I canceled out. What's the shield, bro? Goddamn. Elevated opinion of himself. I'd say this is part of the course. Yes, we're going up then. We gotta get those desires back. Everyone, look! A bird cage. So this place has been too. Do you think his trauma is gonna be? Well, he said he lost somebody when he was younger, so I'm going to assume it's something related to family. I don't know. Inoue is supposed to be the one who created the jades, so he would have to know how they work. It wouldn't make sense otherwise. In which case, the only explanation is that he's trapped himself here with trauma of his own. Why would he do something like that? It could be necessary to creating a jail. Does that mean Kanoe's got some dark past too? Was I that confident? I don't know. It doesn't really fit his image if you ask me. So what's the plan then? You said we need a key if we want to open this thing, right? That's correct. And we can get a hint as to its whereabouts by touching the birdcage. You're up, Skull. Oh, mine. Again? No, let me do it. I could use the experience. Oh, okay. Good luck. Make sure you don't let go right away. Don't go crying on us, Gramps. Huh? <laughs> he doesn't know. <laughs> yep. Oof. Listen to that wolf howl. I've heard stories of cries that could shake the heavens. <laughs> could this be one of them? 
It's almost operatic. You guys don't even know, man. That shit seriously hurts. Quiet. I hear something. Abuse? Please, that's ridiculous. We do have a dog. Maybe that's what they heard? Right, Akira? Hey, whose voice is that? Doesn't seem to be Kanoi's. But he said Akira. Isn't that Kanoi's first name? Whether it was your dog or not, Kanoe-san, we got a tip that you've been physically abusing your son. Oh. Akira-kun has a scar on his arm to prove it. Look, he fell over. How many times do I have to say it? Are we done here? I'd like to be left alone. You little shit. You see all this trouble you're causing me? Keep your goddamn mouth shut and do as I say. Holy shit. Damn. What the hell was that? He no ways passed. We were viewing the trauma he keeps locked away in his heart. Trauma? There, there. Good boy. Who's a good boy? Please. You guys could have warned me about that. Well, it's not like you asked. <laughs> I feel like I've heard that excuse before. Yeah. <laughs> From yourself. You're getting back on track. I heard one of the voices mention something about abuse. Is Kanoi abused by his father? That's terrible. It's pretty messed up, but it doesn't justify all the skeevy shit he's been doing. Indeed. What's past is past. Nothing changes the fact that Akira Kanoe is an incredibly dangerous man who changes others' hearts and robs them of their free will. Right. We've got to stop it. I don't know what Maruki so does, he's not that person though. Is the <laughs> what exactly is his plan? Just gonna have to ask him about it. Up close and personal. Yeah, but first, we need the key to the bird cage. Let's head back to the real world and try to find the source of that voice. Hey, Joker. Was Kanoe really treated badly by his own father? Senkichi and Akane were on bad terms. But nothing like that ever happened between them. Why did that happen to Kanoe? Aren't they family? There could be a lot of reasons. So some humans are just like that then. Joker, do you think family is important? I do. So that's a guy who was thrown out by his own parents. I do too. If I ever get family or friends, I want to support them as much as I can. I learned that from the Phantom Thieves. I wonder if also, the party with freaking ESK, hey, whose foster dad let his mom die, Sorry, and Fu Futaba, whose entire pleasure. family freaking treats her like scum. You know, we Haru, we Huga, Haru, 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 who was the other thing more than a tool by her dad. Uh, we move past that, you know, it's okay. <laughs> Makoto, whose older sister Sai thinks their dad died a stupid death trying to uphold pointless justice. Yeah. Ryuji, whose dad's a deadbeat. <laughs> I can wink, wink, and I keep going. Akechi? Do I get to Akechi? Does An even have anything with her parents? Uh, her parents, her parents are home for one thing. They're always busy, so they're not home. That's why An's raised by servants. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do I get to a catchy? No, we don't need to. Do I get to Kasumi? No, we don't need to. Kasumi, who is dead? Anyway. <laughs> and the actual person is Sumeri? How many 
Go to destination. Let's find out the full story of the trauma. We're here. This is the place. So this is Akira Konoe's family home? Do you suppose Konoe's father still lives here? Mm -mm, no. He died 20 years ago. What? I found some police records of an incident that happened here back then. A burglar forced his way into the home and stabbed Kanoe's father to death. Oh, shit. <laughs> Most items of value were gone, so it was ruled as both a robbery and a homicide. I never found the culprit. And, and what did Kanoe do? He lived here too, right? He was eight years old at the time and was the only survivor. Apparently, he managed to hide in a closet. If this is the birthplace of Kanoe's trauma, Damn, he's only 28? Looks like he's in his mid-30s. Let's go. Yes. Let's do what we came here to do. I'm inputting the keyword now. Everyone, get ready to enter. This room. Are we inside the house now? Looks like it. Twenty years into the past. Whoa! Who's that? Is that... Kanoe's father? You little shit! Who do you think feeds you every day, huh? I swear you're just a bill. All you do is eat up my hard-earned money! <laughs> Don't talk back to me. Wow. Somebody. Please. <sighs> no, I can't watch this anymore. Keeping you around's a real pain in the ass. Maybe I should just kill you two. Two? If she just handed over the money when I told her. Nobody ever takes me seriously. No. Not mom. You didn't. You serious? Become the enemy of evil. Champion of those in need. Listen up, viewers. It's time to band together and call for Zephyrman, protector of justice. Stronger. I have to. I'll kill them. And then I'll be the hero. What the fuck are you mumbling about, you freak? Oh. Not like it matters. You'll be joining your mother soon enough. Wow. I'll kill you! So the robbery was probably a fabricated story, and he actually killed his dad. You want to die? Trust me. I'll be glad to get rid of you. This guy's sick. He really killed his own wife over some money? Unbelievable. Yeah, seriously. That monster! How could anyone do something so awful? See, this makes it a little hard on me now, because like... Hmm. I mean, you know, murder is bad no matter what, but like, I kind of sympathize for Akira now. But it's, you know, it's an oof because we have to kick his ass. I'm conflicted. You're starting to, start to sound like a freaking Pete, a freaking Maruki fan. I'm not sure that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> well, I mean, we have yet to, you know, kick his ass, so, you know, I still need to watch and learn, but like, currently I'm conflicted. 
Also, you ready for the stupid, com stupid complaint people have about the Jesus Christ? Joker got one more combo. What complaint? <laughs> okay, you ready for this stupid complaint that makes me shake people going, what do you want from Atlas? Okay. Okay. Complaint for P5S. The game's not dark. Get to Kanoe. Game's too dark now. I don't like that. Uh, her what dirt? the hell do you want? <laughs> her dirt? Hello? You got what you asked for and then you say it's too much, huh? What? Ah, uh, yes. I've seen people say once they get to Kanoe, now the game's too dark, quote unquote, too dark out of nowhere. Alright, guys. I'll tell you, nobody will be happy unless they make a straight just dating waifu game. But now people don't want that catch for weaves. And they're not a you're playing for soda, you're clearly not a weave, am I right? <laughs> the amount of stupidity hurts! That's the thing, I've always said question when people whenever anyone complains about not having some sort of freaking dating sim mechanic and RPG, and it's like you can just play a dating sim, it's like no, dating sims are for for, for weaves. Like you're literally asking for a dating sim mechanic in this RPG. Like, just own up to it. <laughs> That's it, I was a poor bat to mention how someone complained that the game Scarlet Nexus doesn't have uh, dating sim mechanics. And it's like, because it's not trying to be a dating sim. You want dating sim, play a dating sim. And they go, no, it's for weebs. My dude, and they, what game are you playing? <laughs> And the person said how Tales of Tales of Arise is better than Scarlet Nexus just because of, Tales of Arise does not have a dating sim mechanic. It has a romance in the story, but not a dating sim mechanic. But apparently that makes it better by default because there's at least some sort of romance. It's like, it's a dating sim. I'm hearing so much mental gymnastics, it's insane. I've only seen one person fully admit that they just find out want a persona dating sim. Which is, at least you admit to it, that's fine. At least you know what you want. That's good. Eh, uh, I wouldn't be opposed to that either. But freaking yes, people complain that Kanoe's story is too dark. Also, uh, time for me to explain a localization change in Kanoe's backstory. Of course there's a localization change. What did they change? Okay. Okay, somehow in the flashback, he said how I need to. He said how he needs to kill his dad. Yeah. That that is a localization change. They basically oh. they basically changed. Uh, his they slightly basically slightly altered his crime. In the English version, it is premeditated murder. In Japanese version, it's self-defense. The reason being, in Japan, self-defense is there's less leniency. As opposed to the West, where if someone kills someone self-defense, then you don't, then you're pretty much like, well, what's something to do? Ah, uh, okay, okay. So instead, that to make it seem like Kanoi was like, like he, like it's a plan to kill his dad, yeah. or, to make it, or, or, or to make or to make it seem more sinister. I only, only recently learned about the look, that localization change. I felt like if it saw the same thing of self-defense, then Western fans would be like, Wait, what? Well, how's he a bad person? What? what? They did, but like, he didn't commit no crimes. Also, Crooked can always stand also another example of some Persona fans being like, I want more dark stuff. Gets it. 
No, I don't want dark stuff. I can't. I can't want to talk about this subject. I don't want to talk about child abuse. And it's yeah. like, well, why did you order it? At the same time as it dies, or else I don't play the animation of the boss already dead. So that was Kanoe's father. Kanoe suffered all alone for so long. Sophie. just saw actually happened in the past. Then Akira Kanoe escaped an abusive childhood and avenged his mother by killing his own father. He must have framed the entire thing as a robbery in order to avoid suspicion. I see. He's a victim of some high and mighty shitbag too? He must have felt so trapped. There was nobody he could turn to. So he set out to become his own hero. And the power to change hearts helped him do just that. It's just too sad. There had to be another way. There just had to. Hey, cool it. Whatever his past was, it doesn't justify what he's doing now. Nothing makes it okay for him to take control of people against their will. If we don't stop him now, more and more people are gonna get hurt. That's true. Yeah, you're right, Sinkichi. Say that to the Phantom Thieves who steal people's fruit. Wait a minute. Oh no, oh no, that's what we do, doesn't it? <laughs> you're all thinking the same thing, aren't you? He needs to be stopped. My thoughts exactly. Great. If we don't stop him here, then nothing's ever going to change. Let's do everything we can for now. While it's true we need to change Kanoe's heart, let's not forget we also need to save those whose desires he's stolen. And it's time we bust out the calling card. Oh yeah. That's kind of your thing, isn't it? Yeah. We'll change his heart and take back everyone's desires. Okay. Let's head back to the car and come up with a plan. Now how the hell do y'all plan to give him a calling card? Don't worry about that part. <laughs> so, about the calling card. How exactly do we want to do this? Hmm, we need a place where we know Kanoe will see it. But what about sending it to his company? Police will probably be crawling all over the place. It's too dangerous. After all that stuff he said about us on TV, I'd really like to stick it to him good. Give him something he'll remember. To another fucking TV shit like you did with Shido. Yeah, should we hijack the TVs? There you go. Do the same shit you did with Shido. Like I said, that about Shido, and not the fact we did it with Alice. Where'd Gramps go? I always we did it with Alice too. He said he had something to take care of. He's probably with Akane. Let's just leave them be for now. All right. Well, maybe we save the calling card planning for tomorrow then. How come? I mean, you know, because Zenkichi's part of the team now, isn't he? I feel like he'd be missing out if he wasn't here for his first calling card. Plus, he's kind of got a lot invested in this after everything that happened to Akane. It's true. All signs point to Kanoe being the one who turned her into a manga. Zenkichi's definitely got a bone to pick. <laughs> we should let him write the fucking card. That's true. All right, we'll wait to bring Zenkichi in on the plan. All right, we'll figure out the calling card tomorrow. It's been one intense fight after another, so let's get some rest and get back to it bright and early. Hey, is it just me, or has Yusuke not said a word since we got back? Oh. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> well. Still standing. Dude's got all sorts of weird talents. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, Yusuke. Commissioner Kaburagi? You look better than I thought you would. How'd it feel being on the other side of an interrogation for once? <laughs> I managed to pull through. Guess I'm getting a little old for this, huh? More importantly, though, I heard something interesting from the Nijima lawyer. She told me the reason she was able to get me out was because she had help from a certain someone. I haven't a clue what you're talking about. <coughs> Could you have business with me? Commissioner, I'd like you to help me. I'm going to arrest Awada. He's been behind the scenes with each and every change of heart case. Akira Konoe is the one who commits the crimes, while Awada sits back and capitalizes on them. They plan to cover up the truth by putting all the blame on the Phantom Thieves. I think they've even changed the hearts of some of us on the Force. And I'm talking pretty high up the chain of command. Hmm. If we don't act now, we'll never be able to stop them. Please, Commissioner. I can't do this without you. Do you have any evidence to bring Awada in? I'm on the verge of getting Konoe to confess. If we do that, we can expose all of Awada's crimes. You really think Kanoe will talk? He'll crack. I know he will. How can you be so sure? Are you planning to use the Phantom Thieves to change his heart? Sorry, but... I just can't tell you. <laughs> Commissioner Kaburagi, do you remember what you said to me back when Aoi died? You told me you would cleanse this whole rotten organization someday. And that I just had to wait for the right time. That time is now. Please. I need your help. You've changed, Hasegawa. Your little stunt cost me my chance at senior commissioner. Even my current title is in a state of uncertainty. I need to do something to restore my credibility. If I wanted to, I could serve all of you up to Awada on a silver plaque, and he'd owe me everything for it. Did that ever occur to you? <laughs> Your sense of justice would never allow it. <laughs> My, my. You have three days. If you say you can do it, then by all means, make it happen. All right. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. And I'll give back your badge as well. Uh, are you sure? Fair warning. If you screw this up, I'll be covering my own safety above all else. No second chances. Do you hear me? I won't forget this commission. Shall I follow him, ma'am? Forget it. He'll just throw you off. Actually, I have a more pressing task for you. I want you to find out everything you can about the Commissioner General. The Commissioner General, ma'am? I'm not one to pull punches. Never have been, never will. So, you're sure the Phantom Thieves have been dealt with? Yes? Yes. They're being held in the jail as we speak. I've got Emma keeping an eye on them. Well done, Mr. Kanoe. There really is nothing that can stand up to you in that AI of yours. Please, none of this would have been possible without your assistance, sir. Emma will show us the way forward. Now, I may be getting a little ahead of myself, but what say we have a cell? of sorts. I'll go ahead and reserve us someplace nice. I think you're in for a real treat. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Till then. Call ended. Filth. Flapping those fat jowls of his. Roaches <coughs> like him are the very reason why this world needs someone to enact justice. You are absolutely right, Akira. Alrighty. We'll have to hurry with making Operation Oraculi a reality. More importantly, how are things in the Kyoto jail? No issues to report. The Phantom Thieves are still under confinement. Very well. And, uh, just so we're clear, there's no way to change their hearts. Is that correct? That is correct, Akira. It is impossible. Well, if you say so, it must be. We'll just have to let them rot, won't we? Now. To wrap this up. At this point, nothing can stand in my way. I'll take over this entire country. No, the whole world. So
certainly is building up to a climatic ending. What is Matt? What is he cooking? So, I heard you guys were waiting for me to get World domination. You guys are surprisingly ridiculous, you know? But the person who wants to be a hero really go for world domination, though? Yeah. Well, it's not like I haven't helped out with one already. It doesn't seem like that big a deal. He is an anti hero after all, right? That's the name of the That's the name of the chair. And I'm applying that to him. But I've never written one before. Ah! First time for everything! There we go, Zagichi! Yes. We should all be more open to new experiences. Alright. That takes care of the calling card. We just gotta figure out how to send it. Hey, I didn't agree to anything. <laughs> He's so comfortable bad-mouthing us on TV. Maybe it's time we gave him a taste of his own medicine. Copy the enemy's strats? Hmm. How about an online broadcast? Hmm. You need more impact. Could we just hand deliver it, maybe? If we want to get arrested, yeah. What do you think? Let's go with the TV idea. Come on. Do it again for the third time. I'm not sensing a clear winner here. You actually want to go for a third time? You're doing a bit. Hey guys, check it out. Is that a blimp? Oh. Oh, you don't see them very often nowadays. That's the Reagan Logan. It's the only airship in Japan that's currently in service. It seems it's being used to advertise Emma for Medis at the moment. For Medis? Apparently, it circles Osaka's airspace every day. Hmm, every day? You thinking what I'm thinking? We're really gonna what take over a blimp. Way ahead of me. All right. <laughs> All right. Okay, this is the last color code we ever send. Oh, this set the color <coughs> card. the color card. Point applied to motions. Also, a good chance of going up against Kanawe. Should I fire a pair that we get the set the calling card? I should write something. 